Hi, welcome to Barney Tech channel. Here we are going to see about Simo Code Pro relay software installation. This relay is used for motor production. Before installing the software, we will see the system configuration first. Number one, the laptop or the system operating system need to be used in Windows 10 or Windows level. If it is a 64 bit, it will be better. Number two, the processor recommended for the system is Core i5 at 2.5 to 4.2 GHz. If it is i7 process, it will be better. For minimum requirement for the process is i3 for 2.3 GHz. Number 3. The RAM required for the system is 16 GB or more if the project size is very big. For basic operation, the minimum requirement is 8 GB. Minimum space required for hard disk is 20 GB. When you see about this software, it is available in Siemens website. The link is given below. If you need, you have to log in to the Siemens website and can download the software free of charge. Name of the software used is Simo Code ES version 18. After installing this software, we will get under the name TIA portal. This current version is 19. It will get updated soon also. When you go scroll down to the website, you can see the topic download. Its size will be around 1.5 GB. The name of the file is Ceres Simo Code ES version dot ex. This software we can use trial version. Need to click this and we can able to download it if you have a username and password with Siemens. If not, it is easy to register. You can register and you can go for download. Once it get download into the system, we can able to double click on it. We will get the window to the setup notification. Then need to press next. Then you will get the language selection. Here I am selecting English and go for next. For default, the file extraction location is shown here. We can leave this location without changing. If you need to change the location path, you can also change. Below this location, we have the two options. One, extract the file without installation. Second, extracted file will be deleted automatically after installation. That means the option one will only extract the file. It will not install into the system. The meaning of this is the option one will only extract the file into your hard disk or into your system but it will not install so you can go to the extracted path and you can copy or you can install by yourself S option 2 is it will install and it will delete the extracted file um, without selecting these two you can proceed for next and after extracting the file and it will start to install first we will get the general settings in that we will have to choose the language here we get the error message it is clearly saying it need dotnet 3.5 software and to have this software first you need to install dotnet 3.5 for that is very easy go to control panel and then and need to click on installation or change program option on left side you have a option turn window feature on or off click over here when we click we can able to find dotnet firmware 3.5 which was unselected now you need to enable and press ok before press ok need to ensure your internet connection because it required internet for download if your computer do not have dotnet file on it after this ensure you are enable these two options and then click download. If system have this software, it will activate it. If the system is not having this .NET software, then we have to choose the option. Let the window update, download and install for you. This is the best option to select. It will download itself and install for you.
once the dotnet software is installed now you go to cmo code software installation page if you have the still error message then click back and then go for next now we will not get this error message now it will be confirm your language selection once it confirm go for next now it will show what all the program it's going to install on your laptop and the space available on c drive and then locate where the software is going to install after this you can click next over there we must accept two option this two option after accepting then if you have the enable key for proceed next step now click install it will start to install software please ensure the laptop power supply or laptop battery backup can withstand for minimum 40 minutes it is better to have power cord connected to the laptop first it will check overall view next it will modify the system then it will go for system configuration during this time we should not make any other changes or parallel installation on the system to avoid cmo code software installation error once it install completed it will change to summary option it's a final stage in this stage we have to enter the license key if you have the license key you can enter and proceed for finishing if you don't have the license key also no problem just go for no license when you choose this no license then it will go back to the modification and system configuration small changes it will take around 5 minutes once it complete then it will ask for two option first one is restart my computer now other is i will restart my computer later it is better to choose restart my computer now once it restart we can able to use this software we came to the end of this section see you on next video if you like this section then please share to your friends and colleagues take care and bye from barnitech channel thank you for watching this video